Rebecca Luz has broken her silence for the first time since her alleged affair with David Beckham was addressed in the football icon's recent Netflix documentary. The former personal assistant opened up on the moment the alleged adultery in 2003 was rumbled for the first time, by one of the former England captain's bodyguards, reports The Mirror. In 2004, Rebecca claimed Shed had a four-month relationship with the football legend whilst working as his PA during his time playing for Real Madrid in Spain. Throughout the recent Netflix documentary, Victoria and David spoke of the hardest period of their lives, however, decided not to name Rebecca directly. Now, Rebecca has described the significant moment in their alleged romance. She said, we were texting and it was getting naughty, it was fun. Then suddenly I get a text from the Spanish bodyguard. Stop. Has showing them to his friends and they are all laughing. Rebecca, who went on to appear in various reality shows including Celebrity Love Island and The Farm, said that, in that moment, Bex didn't seem quite so gallant in her eyes after all. She told Mail on Sunday, he had made me feel so special, but I never ever wanted him to leave his wife and get together with me. After learning what he was like I never wanted to be with somebody like that anyway. She continued, I was very hurt and that hurt and that pain led me to become more laissez-faire and to not give a s about keeping this big secret for him when he's treating me like that. A source close to Beckham's Spanish entourage told the same publication he showed the texts to pals in a nightclub at about 4 a.m., resulting in the bodyguard warning Rebecca of the situation. Data for David described the claims as ludicrous at the time and subsequently cut all ties with SFX, the company that employed Rebecca, before she decided to turn down the chance to move to London due to the fact she was pretty much done with the sports industry. In the new documentary, director Fisher Stevens asks 48-year-old David, multiple tabloid stories broke, and how did you deal with that? Beckham replied, there were some horrible stories that were difficult to deal with. It was the first time that me and Victoria had been put under that kind of pressure in our marriage. Stevens then asks Victoria, 49, if that was the hardest time in their marriage. She replies, 100%. It was the hardest period for us because it felt like the world was against us. And here's the thing, we were against each other, if I'm being completely honest. You know, up until Madrid sometimes it felt like us against everybody else. But we were together. We were connected. We had each other. But when we were in Spain, it didn't really feel that we had each other either. And that's sad. I can't even begin to tell you how hard it was and how it affected me. David adds, when I first moved to Spain it was difficult because I've been part of a club and a family for my whole career from the age of 15 to I was 27 years old. I get sold overnight. The next minute I am in a city. I don't speak the language. More importantly, I didn't have my family. The A-list couple went on a make-or-break trip in April 2004 to the French ski resort of Courchevel, footage of which is also shown in the candid documentary. David describes their marriage was as a feeling of drowning as he explains, every time that we woke up we felt you know, there was something else and you know, I think we both felt at the time that we were, not losing each other. But drowning. There were some days that I would wake up and think how am I gonna go to work? How am I gonna walk on to that training pitch? How am I going to look as if nothing's wrong? I felt physically sick every day. When I opened my eyes. How am I going to do this? Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.
When the director asks how they survived, Becca adds, I don't know how we got through it in all honesty. Victoria is everything to me. To see her hurt was incredibly difficult. But we are fighters. And at that time we needed to fight for each other, we needed to fight for our family. And what we had was worth fighting for. But ultimately it's our private life. In April 2004, the now defunct News of the World published claims by Rebecca of the extramarital affair. She said it took place after she was assigned to look after David in Spain following his transfer from Manchester United to Real Madrid the year before. Rebecca alleged her romantic dalliance with Bex took place over the course of four months, with Victoria unaware. Her claims were never verified and although David branded them ludicrous, he never launched legal action against her or the news of the world.